with Surya Namaskar. Oh, lovely. It's a mix of all the asanas. It's a mix of 12 asanas. It's going to get you energized. It's yes. also going to get you fully in the groove. And I need some energy <laughs> to do my rest of my day with regard to new. So, yeah, let's begin. All right. So, we'll start with the top of the mat. So, stand here. You can keep your feet slightly close. Okay. And also go at your own pace. So I will give variations, you decide which one works for your right. body. Let's start with both the hands to the center of the chest. Breathe in, take both the hands back. So push your hips forward. Exhale, head down towards the knees. So try to keep the knees straight in case okay. you can't, which is okay. If you can't touch the floor, that's fine. Just keep the hands wherever they want to be. Take the right leg back. And open the chest here. So now you can drop the knee if you want or you can keep it lifted. Look up. Exhale, come into the plank pose, which is a dandasana. Okay. So plank pose is the hips are not here. They're not sinking. They're right in a diagonal line. Interesting. Okay. From here, drop your knees mm -hmm. and drop your chest. The Ashtang Namaskar. Mm. Inhale, lift up into Cobra. So cobra is not going to be here. This is how I see a lot of people do cobra. So really pull the shoulders away and open the chest. Exhale, tuck your toes, come back into Parvatasan, which is your downward facing dog. So it's a V-shape. So you push your hips up and that's a V-shape. Inhale, get the right leg forward. Again, you can decide to put the knee back or keep it yeah. lifted, but make sure you open the chest. You can smile here and both the feet together. Exhale, head to the knee. Inhale, both the hands go back. And coming back into Namaskar and Samasthiti. Fantastic. So it's like a full circle. How you begin yoga as one asana, that's how you end it. How many times can we do a Surya Namaskar in a day? So Surya Namaskar, we call it 108 mandala. So that is the holy grail mm. and if you just do that your body is in 100% great shape. But I would suggest start from 5 Okay. if you're doing it for the first time. Slowly build it to 30. Wow. And then keep it going as and when and how you feel. So let's body. do it once again? Yeah, let's do it let's once do again. It. Right. Put the hands together to the center of the chest. Make sure you inhale when you go back. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, let's take the left leg back this time. Open the chest. Both the feet back into Dandasana, which is your plank pose. Make sure your knees are straight, your back is straight. Exhale, drop the knees, and drop the chest. Inhale, into Cobra. And Cobra is more about opening your chest than, than going so, up. Exactly. So Cobra could also look like this. Yes. For a lot of people. Yes. Now what shouldn't happen is here. Because we like to get the shoulders up. We're mm. trying to relax the shoulders and open our lower back. All right. Exhale. Into downward facing dog. The right leg comes forward. Inhale. Exhale, feet together. Inhale, both the hands go back. Exhale back to center and Samasthiti. Mm. How much of breathing is a part of an asana? Because when you're walking out, you may be stopping your breath. In, in different practices, it's different. How, what role does breathing play in yoga asana? So in yoga, if you would have noticed every asana, I said breathe in and breathe out. Correct. So every time your chest is open and your chin is above the chest mm. is when you're expanded and you want more breath in. So that's when you breathe in. So every time there's an expansion pose, which is mm. like back bend, is a breathe in. And every time you exhale is going to be when your chest is collapsed. Okay. So every time the chin is down, you exhale. And that will help your body get in more oxygen mm. and release more toxins. And keep you alive longer, likely. That's All right, that's very important. Breathe carefully, breathe as per that asana needs. One quick asana, short asana that someone who has a busy lifestyle like I do, I don't have much time when I'm heading out to the work in the morning and through the day it's a lot of hectic parlays that we're a part of. Something that an office goer, a busy person can do. Okay, so I really believe in the balancing poses, okay, because what really happens is True. when 
you are above 50 or 60, most of the injuries happen because of losing balance and breaking your hip. So that is, that's a study and it's actually relevant. So balancing poses, I would say that you do the Vrikshasana, which is okay. the tree pose. Okay. So you stand with one leg and you place one leg into your inner thigh. Hmm. So you can either be here. Okay, that's so you can either be here hmm. or you can take the hands up. And you stay here for a couple of seconds. So you're making sure that your knee is pointing down towards the floor, you breathe normally. Hmm. And you do this for a couple of seconds every morning. And you will notice that your balance will start getting better and better. Better, hopefully. Yes, it will. And, also and I realize that this perhaps is something that can help you keep your body posture as well in yes, shape. Yes, I was going to tell you, like it also lifts your body up so you yes. look taller. So you stand taller, you stand straighter. So do the balancing poses because balance really helps as you grow older every year. Lovely. So that's something that's a Vrikshasana that you can do. It's interesting, you know, yoga, whether it's about the mountain pose or the Vrikshasana, it is taking inspiration from nature. And that's what perhaps our yogis have done centuries ago. You don't need Western books. It's something that's right there in front of you. That's do true. tell us more about it. Some, some other asana that you think is, is inspired from nature that we can do? Okay, so uh, you mentioned the downward facing yes. dog, which is your Parvatasana. Correct. Right, Parvatasana is my favorite because, firstly, that's one of the asanas that gets blood into your head. Can we do it again? Just, yes. just the Parvatasana. So Parvatasana basically is a V-shape is what you'll make. So you place your hands down, place your feet back yes. and come into a V-shape. So we try and place the heels down in case you can, can't, which is yes. okay. Just have a little bit of gap between the feet and really press down. So stay here for let's say 10 breaths. 10 breaths? Yes. You will notice that your face becomes flushed. It's hmm. also called anti-aging yoga. Wow. So if your face gets flushed. If you pull the belly in, it also engages your abdomen. It'll also engage your shoulders, your back, your lower back. And it gets your endocrine system activated. Hmm. It also helps with your parasympathetic nervous system, so it reduces your stress levels. So this asana, I think if you do it every day, you will get profound effects in all parts of your life. Wow. And when you're done, just drop your knees down. Yeah. And come and sit in two child pose. And relax for the next few seconds. Yes. So relaxation is a big part of yoga. So you don't just keep doing asana after asana. You're supposed to take a break. That's and important. get your breathing back to normal. And when you're ready, come back up. You know, there are many videos, everyone can be a yoga coach as they claim, but how much is it important that when I do yoga, I have someone who's ensuring they know what they're doing and they're teaching me well. How important is that? I think it is very important because right now we see a lot of different hmm. certifications coming up and it is, it's a beautiful practice and you, everybody should be able to do hmm. it. But alignment of the body understanding what muscles to engage, yes. also understanding what's the breath work and understanding limitations of who you're teaching. So a lot of uh, teachers I see, they try to push their students Correct. to like some people even step on your back to like make you go flat but what I believe... the power yoga, fast yoga phenomenon, all of that stuff. It again is. depends on how your hmm. body is. So you have to gauge what the other person's final inspiration to get into is and secondly what are the limitations and what are the power points so you go with those power points and enhance those